Hi everyone, thanks for the left turn. For today, Monday, December 26th, 2016, I'm George Farrar. Welcome back to the Jackson Left channel. Welcome back to another episode of History Jacksonville. And today on History Jacksonville, I'm proud to bring you our 103rd Street, Part 1. 103rd Street is such a long, long street here in Jacksonville. I would like to think of it more as a boulevard, a commercial boulevard of places uh, to eat, to get gasoline for your car, to get your car repaired, to go shopping, uh, to maybe find some entertainment, some amusement. You know, there's always something going on on 103rd Street. Well, you know, even back in the 1950s, there was something going on on 103rd Street. This is 103rd Street and Blanding Boulevard in the early 1950s. Uh, and at that time, of course, both of the roads were somewhat narrow. Of course, you see a gas station on one of the corners. Uh, we've come a long way over the years in Jacksonville. We've come a long way indeed. Uh, this is 103rd Street at 103rd Street in Harlow. Uh, the library, the Webb West Connect Library is just to the left and further down beyond and to the left uh, is the Walmart Shopping Center uh, and various businesses all the way down going east. And of course, there's all the way going back uh, from this perspective going the other way out to the west. You know, we call it 103rd Street, but it is really Florida State Road or Florida State Route 134. 134. Um, kind of interesting. It goes all the way from what we know as Tumaquana Road, uh, that bend uh, where it goes over the bridge, uh, over the Ortega River, and then it, it starts to bend. And at West Connect Boulevard, we have what we know as 134, Highway 134, 103rd Street takes us all the way out to Cecil Field. Now, this should bring back some memories, because we're going to talk about, in this first part of 103rd Street, we're going to talk about memories. And one memory I have is of a uh, Raleigh's Hamburgers place, uh, 103rd Street between Wrecker Road and Firestone Road. And uh, they were known really for their fries. I really enjoyed their fries. The hamburgers were not really all that. Uh, the service wasn't really all that. And you really couldn't go inside there. You, you could s sit out kind of on their patio to eat. Uh, now, you know, I do have to bring up Web West Connect. There are going to be some places... Uh, and that I won't talk about in this episode. This is just a, a kind of an appetizer to kind of wet your wet your whistle. But this is, as you know, is the Jacksonville Public Library's Web West Connect uh, Branch Library. Uh, it's been in existence since the late 1970s. Yeah, over time, in in multiple parts of of our 103rd Street, and we'll talk more about 103rd Street, and then we'll throw it all together into one. But a lot of reading there, as you can imagine, a lot of studying, a lot of getting materials at the library over the years. Amico, uh, now we know it as the BP at 103rd Street and Ricker. I knew it many years ago as Amico, just simply Amico. Uh, $1.19 for gas when I first started driving. I was driving a 1977 Toyota Corolla in 1993. Uh, $1.19, now we're at around two and a quarter. Uh, Cineplex Odeon, now that we now know, well, at one point, it was later known as Regal Cin Cinemas, it's a movie theater. Now, it was bulldozed to build what we now know as the old Walmart on 103rd Street, the new Walmart being down at the Collins Road exit on I-295. Uh, now, this is a really nice theater. Uh, I would, uh, I, I went to a lot of movies with my dad. Uh, curtains, really nice theater, lobby. Really, really cool place uh, back in the 90s. Now, another cool place, another place I frequented a lot was Blockbuster Video, okay? Getting mostly videotapes, mostly in the mid-90s, uh, in the times that I was, uh, before I went out to Tallahassee, and then in the times that I was on vacation and, and living over the summer uh, with my dad back years ago. 
Uh, so a lot of people going in and out with lots of getting videos, getting videos. Uh, you know, uh, another place I would scurry in and out of, particularly a late hour, would be Albertsons. Um, if I couldn't get it into Publix or if it was just for whatever reason, I needed to get it late. Uh, it, I was always going, running around Albertsons. Now, the thing about a, a grocery store that you don't really go around in uh, very often, but you do it late at night, and uh, but it's not your regular su regular supermarket, you're just going round and round and round in a circle, and you're going, you can never find what you're looking for. So it was always kind of a, I was always running around <laughs> there and barely able to find what I needed. Now, Scotty's. Now, that was an old home improvement chain. Uh, I used to really like Scotty's growing up because I always kind of wanted my grandfather to put together and build a tree house for me years ago. And we would talk about Scotty's and getting lumber and all the things that would be needed for it. And uh, in the early days on 103rd Street, uh, my dad and I would visit Scotty's to get various uh, things we needed for the house, uh, to home improvement stuff on the house. Now, 103rd Street. There's so much of 103rd Street, I really can't do just a uh, one episode of History Jacksonville. So there's going to be multiple episodes of 103rd Street, or 103rd Street, within History Jacksonville, the series, both this season and next season. So we're looking at at least two more episodes with a full-length uh, look, historical look, at 103rd Street, as well as a more of a, a personal, nostalgic recounting of growing up on 103rd Street. 103rd Street's an amazing place, and I'm looking forward to talking more about things with you uh, as time goes on. Speaking of as time goes on, it's time to wrap it up here on History Jacksonville. I look forward to bringing you more episodes of History Jacksonville into the future. Uh, this upcoming couple months, I've got a lot planned, including uh, our Main Street Bridge, our Mandarin. Also, similar episodes like this one, where I really talk about uh, different topics uh, in Jacksonville history that I know you'll enjoy. So there's a lot coming, there's a lot ahead, and I want to encourage you to please check us out at theleftturnnetwork.com. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. See you later.